Hello and welcome to Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And I'm just going to talk to you like I normally do. And I was thinking... The period between when you wake up in the morning to when you, or in the evening, whatever time you get up, from that period, from when you get out of your bed to when you get back into your bed, maybe 16 hours later, whatever the amount of time it is. What you think about during that time can have a big impact on your quality of sleep. So what I thought may be useful is to start to Think in a different way to think differently about the process of going to sleep. Now, I've talked about the enjoyment you can gain from just lying on your bed and just enjoying feeling relaxed without trying to do anything because you can't try and fall asleep doesn't work it's a natural process which you know anyway it's a natural process that you go through so how else can you enjoy the experience of going to bed Maybe having a a relaxing bath before going to bed. Maybe reading a book. Maybe not a whole book, but you know, reading a chapter or I always find that whenever I read in book I just get tired. Which is why I would never read, I don't read uh, during the day or if I'm awake. Of course you have to be awake to read a book, but I know that as soon as I start reading a book, if I'm in bed, I'm just going to, my eyes will just beg me to close. And I just get so tired so tired and it's as if my body becomes heavier at the same time as my eyelids become heavier and I end up just having to put the book down take my glasses off and just roll over and I'm asleep very quickly but without trying to and often in those situations without even wanting to because my intention was to read the book but because I associate a bed for mainly for sleeping 
which is what a bed has been for since we were young children, whatever age, you know, you first slept in a bed after sleeping in a cot or wherever you are when you're a baby. But it's always been a sleeping place. And just just thinking about it makes me yawn. And sometimes I do these recordings and I do actually it's actually more tiring than reading a book in bed sometimes I mean, right now I could easily just take my glasses off close my eyes and just roll over lie down on the bed and roll over and I just feel so comfortable And I like that feeling because I realized that recently there are things we perhaps put in our minds sometimes isn't always helpful. For example, thinking about what time you're needing to wake up the next day not helpful it's something that you obviously maybe need to think about for the duration of setting your clock or your watch or your phone for the alarm to go off And once that's done, there's no thinking required. Just like when you switch a a light switch on, the light comes on. That's it. Job done. You don't have to do any more. The light is on. And when you go to switch it off, the light is off. Job done. Nothing else to think about. And the same is with setting your alarm, your clock, watch or phone for waking you up at a certain time. Once you've done that, there is nothing to think about. once you're taking your socks off and you're lying down you don't need to think about socks you don't need to think about what socks you're going to wear the next day and if you do have the kind of mind that likes to you know plan things get the socks ready Stick them on a chair or something for the the coming day ahead. So then you don't need to think about it. And there is some benefit to having things in certain places you know like having your towel in the bathroom so that you can get to it when you get out of the shower or the bath so it's always in the same place otherwise if it's in different places it would just be a hassle having to think oh, where did I put the bathroom towel 
Oh, I left it in the microwave. Oh, I left it in the boot of the car. Oh, I left it in the supermarket. You know, you keep it in one place because then you don't have to think about it. So if you're in the shower and you get some soap in your eye, some shampoo in your eye, you can just reach out and you can wipe your eyes straight away and you're fine. You haven't got to start walking around the, your home looking for that towel. And you haven't got a plan for when you have your next shower or bath. You're making sure have I got the towel before I get in the bath or the shower, make sure there's a towel. Well, you know there's a towel because there's always a towel. That's why we park, you park your car more than likely in the same place. It just makes it easier. And if you even if you park in a public car park, you probably try and park in the same space every time. It just makes it easier. One less thing to think about. Which frees your brain and frees your mind to think about more interesting things. Yet when it comes to sleeping, your mind is free to just drift off to sleep. Because it doesn't, doesn't need any further distractions from anyone or from anything. Because this is your time. This is your safe space to relax fully. And to let go. Completely. And the more you do this, the more you think about going to sleep. During the day, you think about how relaxing it will be when you just lay down on your bed, body relaxes completely head touches the pillow you fall asleep your mind slows down and you start to expect to feel tired at the correct time you expect for your body to relax every muscle completely loose and calm and when you think about resting your head gently on the supportive pillow You expect your mind, which is already calm and peaceful, to slow down even more.
and it's it's a nice feeling it's a comforting experience to be at work or at college or maybe you're in a supermarket or on a bus and just thinking about how you're going to experience going to sleep later on this evening maybe and as you think about that process whether you brush your teeth and as I said you might have a wash you might go to the toilet you might have a bath or a shower you might even do 10 minutes of yoga I don't know it's whatever is whatever fits your lifestyle as you imagine that process of preparing yourself to get ready for sleeping deeply there's a sense of confidence that arises within your mind and that in itself spreads a sense of well-being through your body it's as if you're you're kind of looking forward to it looking forward to the the pleasure that you can experience when you lay down on a bed and your body is completely relaxed your head touches the pillow of course your mind slows down even more than it already is because as you prepare doing whatever it is you normally do just prior to actually laying down on your bed prepares you and prepares your body and your mind for that sense of deep relaxing comfort that naturally arises naturally arises as your mind naturally slows down and your body continues to relax your body continues to let go of anything any emotions or feelings that it may have been holding on to previously as your body relaxes even further with every passing second it's almost as if your body is taking notice of how it feels so relaxed in preparation for your mind to just drift into a deep healing 
safe sleep and at the same time preparing to feel confident the next day about how relaxed and calm and easily you'll drift off into a deep healing safe sleep the next day or evening building that foundation for more and more so much more quietness of your mind so much more healing sleep coming your way every day when it's time for you to fall asleep You can gain this sense of gentle confidence in your own natural ability to sleep easily. In fact, the more you think about falling asleep easily and naturally, the easier you easily and naturally fall asleep. easier it becomes for you to let go completely and the more often during your waking hours that you think and expect and imagine yourself when it's time to lay down on your bed visualizing yourself laying down your head touches the pillow, your body relaxes thoroughly, sending that signal to your mind to slow down so much slower nothing needed nothing one
wanted. It's you. Open yourself up. To the reality. That you. Deserve to sleep. Easily, you deserve to sleep naturally. Deserve to sleep so very deep. you realize that no effort is required at all. You need to do is just open your mind Open your heart to the ideas that actually not only do you deserve to be healthy and happy, you also deserve to sleep easily and naturally and the more time you spend being kind and gentle to yourself You'll find that drifting off into a deep, healing, safe sleep is the easiest thing in the world. just 
enjoy the comfort of lying down on your bed and allowing nature to just do what it does best so easily, ever so slowly, so 